going to show you how to post it the way I would post it because unless you're like trying to do down and dirty bookkeeping and you have a whole year to post, so then just post the one entry. But something seems to always go wrong. And then again, you're trying to figure it out and it takes hours that it's better to post these each month. So I'm going to show you how you do that. So now we're in the mortgage. So think about it. We need to post the interest, which is going to decrease. I mean, it's going to increase our loan back up, right? Because these decreases are too much. So once we post the interest, our loan balance is going back up. So our first one is February. And I do it like the day after so that I can see the, the true. I don't want that to show up in my loan register. Just do it the day after. So this is February 24 interest. And let me just show it to you here. You know, guys, you can do this thing too. You can just like copy stuff from one screen and it usually works. It's like, holy cow. Okay. Here's another reason you'd want a class. I'm just gonna throw this in here now, but if you had multiple loans or multiple properties, you really need to class. Okay, That's later you'll see what I mean. Okay, so now I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna do one more. Three, two, 24. I, I don't even, so now we go to March. That went down a little bit. But notice how on my interest expense, I didn't go and make one for like that said 50 railroad. That is like the worst thing you can do. You are going to have a chart of account of profit and loss you cannot read. If you're putting more than one entity or building because you have two buildings inside one LLC, you're just going to have to pay the money, I think and upgrade with the classes because you're going to spend so much time trying to save the money of the different subscription price. The end, the end you're going to make, be making so many Excel sheets to try and figure out the profitability of the property. And if you would just, you know, just bite the bullet. Okay. So I'm going to pause this and enter the rest. Okay, guys. So now this is the most simplistic of mortgages. Uh, I will do another one that shows escrow, but here we go. So we show all our 12 payments or 11 payments actually. And this is what I want you getting used to. You should go in and look in your registers. That's how you're gonna find your mistakes. So I have my 11 payments because I started in February and then I have my interest. Okay, and then of course, and this happens on, on real loans too, is that there's like a little bit of rounding. So even though I posted my interest perfect per this schedule, it says 481, 381.97, I'm off like four cents. See, there's four cents that I'm, I need to end at. So what you would do you, is at the end, your end, because this would drive me crazy if it didn't exactly work. Oh, and I want to show you one other. So I added the class here, but it, and remember what I told you, these are creating journal entries. It's just easier for you. You do, if you enter it through here, need to go back and add the second line because it's only doing one part. It's not classing out your interest expense. Okay, so now 481, 381, 97, that matches what we're supposed to have at year end. And I would reconcile these either once a month or just make sure everything works. And then I like to reconcile the loan once a year.